If you don't read my updates, you probably have no idea where I've been. I haven't been posting videos because I've been moving. It was awful. Moving is awful. Don't ever move. Stay where you are. I've moved every year for the past five years. Don't move anymore. However, I did learn that this move was the best move ever. You probably don't know this, but for the past five years, I've been living in New York City. Before I start this video, New York City is awesome. I love it. I am still commuting to it every day to go to work. I would not be able to be without it, and I didn't move that far away from it. That having been said, a lot of people don't know what you actually get when you live in Manhattan area. So now that I'm officially moved out, I'm gonna show you what I was living in in comparison to what I have now. Also, yes, there's a sleepy, cute, adorable puppy behind me for your viewing pleasure. This is how it's gonna work. I'm gonna put a picture up of where I used to live and then put another picture of where I live now and you'll get to see. Also keep in mind when watching this, I'm paying less right now. For this apartment that I just got, I'm paying less. Welcome to my living room. This is looking at it from the hallway and this is being inside of it. And this is looking at it from another corner. If you look back, we have two decent sized windows looking out at the street, which is awesome because we get to hear everything. Traffic, the, the drunk people at the bars, hobo screaming. Anyway, we had enough room for a small uh, three person sectional and a small little square table. These are the floors that we had. They're pre-war floors and they were painted. Let me tell you again, painted, meaning anytime I moved anything, there would be scratches all over the freaking floor. Now in comparison, this is my new living room. I have enough room for everything. I, ha I got to buy new furniture. I have a new futon. It is awesome. It is bright. It is huge. And oh, 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 look at this. It has enough room for a dining table. This means that I no longer have to eat on my couch because that's what I was doing. This is the best part. This was my bedroom. And in comparison to the bedroom, I put a ladder so you can kind of see. This is where my bed went. I could only put my bed in the bedroom and it barely fit and it was a full size. And let's not forget the beautiful scenery. Look at this beautiful scenery. When I used to wake up, I would stretch and I would look and I would get to see this. In comparison, this is my bedroom now with the sleepy puppy on the bed. Uh, don't mind the messiness. I am still unpacking, obviously. And then this is the other side of my bedroom. This is my walk-in closet, which is awesome. Now this was interesting because I could tell people that I had two bathrooms and that sounded awesome. It was not. This is one bathroom and it has a toilet in it. That's it. That's it. That's all that's in that bathroom. Little toilet. The second bathroom is in the kitchen and it contains the small sink with no under storage and a stand up shower. In comparison, this is my bathroom now. It's nice, it's big, it's got a huge sink where I can put stuff under it. It's great. And oh, if you look in, it's got a toilet, a sink, and a bathtub shower. That's insanity. From there was the kitchen, which uh, we didn't have for the first like month and a half of living there, which was interesting. But yeah, we had the tiniest bit of counter space. Oh, and it's crooked. So the stove, when I would put stuff in and I would open it, the stove, first of all, is a half stove. Uh, it would fly out at me and I would have to make sure not to get through third degree burns. In comparison, this is my new kitchen. It's not the biggest kitchen in the world, but it has a shit ton of cabinets and storage, which I enjoy. It also has a full stove and a dishwasher. Also, it's not crooked, which is great. Anyway, yeah, my move is done. I'm still getting settled in. Uh, I took off work today to try and unpack some more. I've been unpacking all morning and all afternoon, and I still feel like I haven't put a dent in it. So I'll be posting more gaming videos soon. I'm just waiting to get a little bit more settled in before I start doing it again. But I wanted to let you guys know what I was up to and uh, where I used to live and where I live now. It might also give you some insight if you're thinking of moving to the city, what your expectations should be.
Before I moved out of my old place, I got to see the listing for how much it was actually going for. Anybody want to take a guess on how much that apartment goes for? If you want a little bit more background information before you try to guess, it's in uh, the Hell's Kitchen area of Manhattan. Still have no idea? It went for $1,995 a month in rent and somebody signed a lease for it without even going to see it. Yeah, that's New York City for you. And while I have loved my five years of living there, I can now safely say that I am ready to retire to New Jersey, which is where I am now. I've never lived in New Jersey ever before, but I kind of like it so far. I always was kind of against it because I was always New Yorker, um, but everything's great. The town is awesome. People here are nice. Place is big. Uh, like I said, I'm paying a lot less than that apartment and I get so much more. I also don't have to lug all of my groceries and shit up four flights of stairs. So yeah, I'm going to go enjoy unpacking my new apartment. Um, but I hope everybody's doing good and I will be back very soon, I promise. And hopefully you guys like this video and anybody that doesn't know me and was just watching it to see what New York City apartments were like, uh, you're welcome and good luck.